Hello, I'm Dr. Sinesha Kusuma. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist working at Hyderabad. Um, today, let us see, uh, try to answer this question. How do we recognize symptoms of diabetes in children? Um, so we know that diabetes can happen in children and commonest kind of diabetes that happens in children is called type 1 diabetes. What happens here is that the pancreas um, which is responsible for producing a hormone called insulin which keeps sugars under control, uh, pancreas decreases the production of insulin and eventually stops producing insulin. So then what happens is that the blood sugar levels keep rising and when they reach certain limit they, they keep filtering into the kidney and uh, they get excreted through the urine. And along with that, they draw some water also. Uh, this entire process is so gradual that it's very common to um, uh, miss these symptoms. And often, all these symptoms are so vague and uh, non-specific, they go unnoticed. Um, if you keep an eye on, uh, if you keep a uh, cl uh, clear notice, uh, what you can see is that these children um, might pass urine more frequently. They might pass too much urine, and sometimes you also see that. Uh, uh, this urine is so sweet, it, it might even give you a, a sweet smell and it might even attract ants if it is uh, fallen on the floor. And uh, you also see that the kids are very very thirsty if they have diabetes and they keep on asking for um, an extra drink of water, especially they might wake up in the middle of the night even in winter season and ask for a drink of water. Um, in, in such cases, you have to strongly suspect something wrong and then uh, bring it to, your, uh, to the notice of your pediatrician. And it can also happen that if your child has star, uh, stopped wetting um, his or her bed at night for quite some time and um, they start to do the bed wetting again, that is another important symptom um, that might suggest a possibility of underlying di diabetes. And sometimes they can get repeated uh, fungal infections especially in the genital area and even if they are eating well um, they might lose start losing weight and they might feel very very tired all the day so if any of these symptoms are there uh, please bring to the notice of your pediatrician and make sure that there is no underlying uh, type 1 diabetes brewing uh, in your child um, if what if we do not recognize these symptoms and treat them on time with insulin administration so when that happens, because the body cannot use glucose as its energy, it tries to break down protein and fat. In that process, certain toxic substances get built up in the blood. They are called ketones. So these uh, toxins can actually make your child extremely sick. The child may start to throw up, have lots of vomiting, they have difficulty breathing, they might have severe tummy pain, um, they might even lose consciousness. And this is a very um, extremely dangerous situation in medical terminology, it is called diabetic ketoacidosis. Um, this has to be immediately taken care of and if not treated immediately, it can be a life-threatening situation. So that is one important thing everybody should remember. Um, unless and until we are really, really vigilant, it's very, uh, it's very, very easy to miss all these subtle signs of diabetes. So once uh, everyone is aware, it's easy to pick the signs and symptoms of diabetes. Mm -hmm.